And don't worry, it's still me. I just shaved. Instantly regretted it. Now for anyone wondering about my big package. Since I broke what was my vlogging camera, the Canon G7X, stupidly tried to position it high up on a cupboard for like a down, downwards shot and it just, it fell and it smashed. Had a weird like three year warranty on it, tried to send it away and just say to them, it stopped working, I don't know what happened. Funny enough, they emailed me back and went, you dropped it, fair enough. So, we have the replacement camera and a couple of other goodies that I've bought from Amazon, even though they fucked up my delivery as they usually do. But I got it, and now for the first time since I bought that last camera, are we going to do another unboxing video? I have the power! So, what I have purchased is the Canon 200D. Um, I think it's got a couple of different names. It's, uh, Around like UK and Europe, it seems to be 200D. In like parts of the S, it's like the Rebel 2 or SL2 or something like that. So I had a couple of decisions. I could have got this or a, quite a common YouTuber camera is the Canon 750D, which was great back in his day, but it's now discontinued. You can still buy it, I think like leftover stock is still available on Amazon and you can get it on like eBay but it's pretty much the same price as this and this is a newer version and it's slightly better. So uh, when I box it we'll go over some of the spec as well. So camera first of all. The Rode mic, finally. There's nothing worse than watching a YouTube video with terrible sound, probably something like this, because right now I'm recording on like two phones. Even on my old setup, the G7X had an internal camera. You can actually hear the clicking of the autofocus constantly throughout my videos. If you didn't know it was there, it was great, but once you realize you couldn't hear anything else. Nothing makes people click off a video quicker than poor audio quality, so we step in that up. Uh, the, the last thing is, well, this is a water bottle. This, this isn't. Anything to do with this is, this is for sure. So let's put the mic aside for one second, get into the camera and we'll have a chat about some of the specs as well. Okay, we have warranty, safety precautions, um, Jesus, instructions, el manual instruction, lots of languages. I don't think it's that complicated. English is probably like this. Bit. So, some of the features of the Canon 200D uh, is a 24 megapixel camera, not megapixels actually make a huge difference these days, uh, people have started to catch on that you can stick as many pixels into a camera as you want, unless you've got the actual tech behind it to process it, doesn't mean anything. But 24, 24, 24, where was I going with this? 24 megapixel camera regardless. What actually helps is the Canon APS CMOS sensor. This is just a battery, I'm just gonna open the battery. The basics of the, uh, the sensor, the bigger the sensor is, the more light you can let in. The more light you can let into a photo or a video, the better quality it's gonna be. Let's get the boring stuff out of the way first of all. We've done the battery, that is the... Battery charger, I mean, they all look pretty much the same. You've seen one, you've seen them all, great. The Canon strap, if I ever wanted to look like a douche on holiday, then I would put this around my neck. Other than that, nice extra, thank you. Let's get the actual camera out now. Oh, so light. This is actually my first uh, DSLR, but you always expect them to be like really weighty. This is, uh, it's very light, it's nice. Compared to other DSLRs, it's a lot smaller as well. Obviously we've got the, I think it's a nine inch flip out reversible LCD screen. Uh, great for making YouTube videos. The ends are... Are you kidding? Who's using a drill? Well, that's really annoying. So a little bit more about the inside is a Digic 7 processor, similar to the basics of a processor in a computer. Because of the sensor lets in a lot more light, the more light you have in, the more data it needs to process, it needs a better processor. Uh, ISO range of 100 to 25,600. Um, again, it's just the range of brightness. If you were to be taking photos with this, it has a six frames per second continuous shooting mode, which I'll give a try because this is mainly for video. When it comes to video, it does shoot full 1080p at 60 frames per second. So move on to the lens. Okay, so this is the kit lens, obviously came in the box. There are two different versions that you can buy though. Uh, there's only about 40-50 pound price difference between the two. Uh, one of them with image stabilization, 
is this one? One of them would not. So maybe the lens, and I'm going to read this, I'm not going to pretend that I memorized it because it's long. It's a EFS 18 to 55, F4 to 5.6 IS, which stands for Image Stabilization, STM. Stepping motor driven autofocus. This part I had to look up. STM is basically uh, the motor function that it uses for the autofocus, the same as I was talking about in the old camera where you could actually hear it. It's a stepping motor driven system. It's basically silent, it's quiet. It's good, it's good stuff. I'm not sure if the battery actually has any juice in, but we're gonna pop it in and give it a try. Okay. Fifty-fifty chance of putting in the battery the right way around first time. I'm always on the bad end of that statistic. There we go. Okay, so I've just seen a light flash there, so I think it's maybe got a little bit of juice in it. And then it goes in like like, like this. Ooh, click. That's good. Trying to, I'm trying to take photos. There's a special button on top here that swaps it to video. We got it. There we go. Ignoring the the washing. Uh, there is the current setup. Boo. First time having a zoom. Everyone knows I'm going to start doing this. too much fun playing with it in the battery guide. Okay, just while the battery is charging, let's unbox the road mic quickly. I mean, if you really want, we can unbox the water bottle as well, but I'm guessing that's why, not why you showed up. So, uh, so obviously there are cheap alternatives to the road mic. As I was saying earlier, I think audio is probably one of the most important aspects to a video. It can make people click off within about two seconds. If, uh, if you've got a great looking 1080p 4K video, but then you've got like, ruffled terrible sound and you're not going to understand any of it. I will not make any phallus strokes. I will not make any phallus strokes. But that's, that's cool. That doesn't feel too weighty, which is good. You can tell from this little bit that it does spin around. Uh, the reason you want that, if you're ever recording something with the camera facing you, then obviously like this, is great, but if you're ever recording something in front of you but you need to be talking as well, you actually face the mic that way so it can hear you but see what you're shooting at. So 3.5 mil to 3.5 mil jack with a nice extendy springy wire there. Um, it's good for these setups because it literally needs to go from there to there. So if you've got a massive cable hanging off, it's gonna get caught on the things, probably gonna rip it off, you'll drop the camera, something like that is nice and compact. So as well, one of the benefits of the Go mic, the smaller ones like this, as opposed to some of the larger ones, they actually need their own battery source. So you'd have to put like a D battery in. So they're, they're a little bit more powerful, but I mean, if you're just gonna be sitting this far away from the camera, it's not something you necessarily need. Downsides with them as well, obviously the battery can die it. You wouldn't know until you watch back the footage and you've got no audio. Also, they turn on independently of the camera. So obviously you've got the camera on, you hit record, you forgot to turn the mic on, you've got no audio. That is my new setup. Okay, hopefully the battery's got at least 30 seconds of charging right now so we can turn it on with the mic and just give it a side-by-side -side comparison. Okay, and then there's horrible lighting in here. Te absolutely horrible, terrible lighting. Next week on the camera list. Ah, oh, there we go, we found a spot. Uh, so this is it, let me just this up do our best for a kind of side-by-side -side comparison here um, so obviously this is the video and I just go back and forth between the audio quickly as well there you go hopefully you found this interesting and useful I'll link both the road mic and the camera in the description down below hopefully you will join us for more 
Occasional unboxings. The channel is mainly used for Kickstarter and Indiegogo projects. Uh, so if that's something you're into, remember to subscribe. If you like this video, remember to give it a like. And as always, I shall see you in the next one. They bought you your present. I know what they say. Ah, it's the one I wanted. Oh, thank you so much. I love it.